The National Restaurant Association's Restaurant Performance Index in December was 99.8, a decrease of 0.3%. Restaurant operators reported that their current situation improved somewhat, but their sales expectations for six months out declined. Regarding restaurant operator capital spending in December, 56% of restaurant operators reported making a capital expenditure over the past three months, and 50% reported expecting to make a capital expenditure over the upcoming six months. In December, restaurant industry employment advanced by 22,000. And it is important to note that for the year, restaurant industry employment is now 0.3% above where it was pre-pandemic. Regarding wholesale food price inflation in December, that index actually declined. So the annualized rate preliminarily comes in at a negative 0.3%. This is the first time since 2018 that the annual rate for wholesale food price inflation has been negative. Not surprisingly though, certain commodity groups posted gains. For example, beef, coffee, pasta, and bread. Meanwhile, other commodities posted declines, such as eggs, fresh vegetables, chicken, butter, and pork. In December, restaurant menu price inflation did edge up, closing out the year at a 7.1% annual rate. That is down slightly from the 2022 rate of 7.7%. And meanwhile, for the year, grocery store price inflation was 5%, and overall inflation clocked in at 4.1%. So in sum, the Restaurant Performance Index in December, 99.8, a decline of 0.3%. Restaurant industry employment up by 22,000. Wholesale food prices down on an annual basis by 0.3%, and menu price inflation at 7.1%. And don't forget, for additional information, visit our website, restaurant.org. Thank you.